This should be another interesting boss. Oh, look at him. I'm gonna pull him over here. And I'm gonna pull him over here. Can we kill the idol on worm? Oh my god. Hey yo, everyone, welcome back to another Terraria video. Today we will be seeing if this new item from the juice mod, new weapon, I should say, from the juice mod can kill a bunch of Terraria bosses varying from vanilla to calamity. And I say calamity because we're barely gonna test things from Thorium. Because that's just how it is. But yes, this right here, the black hole tome. Can this weapon right here kill bosses? Let's see it in action. Let me zoom out here. Let's just see it in action to begin with oh my god this is insane now let's see if it can take on bosses but first let's read what it does it says that it's a cheat item so for all those people they're gonna be like how do you get this it's a cheat item you gotta use cheat sheet you gotta use heroes mod to spawn it in that's the only way you can get it creates a controllable black hole that sucks in creatures and annihilates them life regenerates and infinite immunity frames while held it's pretty similar to, to the tome of greater manipulation the way you have you know just infinite health and stuff while holding it but yeah let's get to it let's start with the basic vanilla bosses here we're not in the lab today because i was using the heroes mod in the lab and for some reason the sun wouldn't move at all so we're here just in you know the previous world that has tons of videos recorded on it and uh, let's get to it let's start with the king slime okay king slime when has he ever survived anything never so i doubt he's surviving that and look at that that was like one tick and then we got all those items here in the middle does it like sucking items from over there whoa okay very very cool you know i still get comments till this day about one of the videos it might have been the ultimate fist video but people are still like gamers you missed the queen bee the queen bee is in the video it's at the beginning of the video it did die very quick but it's still in that video and i'm surprised that so many people are saying that i missed it it's like kind of weird a sort of like mandela effect happened in that video where i killed the queen bee in the video but everybody's like gamers you missed the queen bee it's, it's really odd it's really really odd there, there'll be sometimes where i straight up do miss a boss but then there's sometimes where i just straight up kill it in the first like minute of the video but i i don't know man it was pretty scary seeing that because it's like how how do so many people see me miss something i don't know maybe i gotta announce the bosses out loud when i kill them boom there was a queen bee in the eye of cthulhu right there next up skeletron so it doesn't seem like they're dying instantly they're kind of just being spun around unless they go in the middle they die instantly i don't know let me see here so if i don't put the middle on him he kind of just spins around but if I try and hit him with the middle, which is kind of hard to do, honestly. I, I don't even know if I hit him in the middle if he just ran out of health there. But I'm assuming, you know, if you're in the middle of a black hole, it's a little bit more dangerous than being on the outer edges. But I don't think many of us in real life will find ourselves near a black hole. Next up, Brandon Cthulhu. Please don't run. Okay, we're good. I like the bosses with a bunch of mobs and stuff around it, or minions that it summons, because it's funny watching them spin around. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's spawn the Eater of Worlds. This should be another interesting boss. Oh, look at him. Oh my god, he slowly got sucked in from one end to the other. Oh, that was loud as hell. Now, I can't wait to do this series with new bosses in 1.4. Because if you guys don't know, spoiler alert, low key, you know, it, it wasn't a spoiler until I opened Twitter one fateful day and it was just on my screen. The first tweet that popped up, there's gonna, the two new bosses in 1.4 are going to be hard mode bosses. That is a spoiler. I wish I didn't know it. I mean, it's not that big of a spoiler, but it's like, I didn't need to know it until I opened Twitter twitter and i see red you know the main developer of terraria he posts that just right there replying to someone let's see this against the wall flesh oh my god look at him i'm gonna pull him over here and i'm gonna pull him over here look at this i'm playing with him it's like the it's like the tome of manipulation bro i'm playing with them like little kids be playing with their veggies when they don't want to eat them it has been confirmed that you know some of my favorite bosses here aesthetic looking bosses turkor and lepus no, it's confirmed they're not coming. Same thing with the Akram. They're not coming. Uh, it's very sad that they're not coming to 1.4. No, I thought they're going to pull a quick one on us and be like, the new hard mode bosses, guess what? They're Lepus and they're Turco. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. Honestly, I wouldn't even be that upset. Yeah, those bosses dead, and now it's time for the mech bosses. Uh, hopefully, I'm on a good pace here in terms of not missing anything. I do have the wiki open. Yeah, let me switch it to nighttime. Boom. Hopefully, you guys can still see. And let's do this. This is three bosses at once right here. Let's get them in the mix. Oh, my God. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> it's like I'm stirring up a pot. Look at the eater or look at the destroyer. Oh, my God. This is crazy. What the heck, bro? That boy was spinning. You know he's dizzy. All right, next up, we'll fight Marco himself. Akram. And a lot of people... Oh, my God. What was that noise? I 
I just, I just wanted to listen to the noises he made and they were very loud. Maybe my headphones are just turned up really loud. No, I think the Calamity mod has a new boss we could test out on, which I'm kind of hyped about this new Calamity boss because he looks really funny. And he was a part of their April Fool's update, but it was a legit update. It came out on April Fool's. You know, that's the type of updates I like. I don't like April Fool's jokes. I like when the games update with funny things and they keep those funny things in. But yeah, speak about Calamity, there's an event going on and I literally can't make it daytime or do anything until this event is over. But the thing is, I am not seeing enemies because I'm wearing this. I've been doing this Calamity event for like 10 minutes. I don't know what's taking so long. I literally went AFK, left the room, came back, and I'm still waiting for it to be done. I don't even know what summon I have. What, what, what summon am I using? Temporal Umbrella. What the hell? I guess I came back at a good time. What is this? Am I, am I gonna be fighting something at the end of this? Oh! I am fighting something. The the old Duke. See, this is the boss I was talking about. I didn't know if he'd show up or not. Hold on, let me get these guys out of here. Same thing with him. Alright, come here, Mr. Old Duke. Yeah, you can do whatever you want. You're just gonna be in this uh whirlwind, okay? Oh, he's dead now. <laughs> okay, we'll uh we'll, we'll we'll come back to him in the future. We'll fight him again in the future, maybe. I don't know. But uh back to what I came here to do before we fought the old duke, and that was the fight the not old duke, the young duke. All right, and he's dead. Now I can go back to doing everything else. It's Golem and Plantera time. Get in the hole. That sounds kind of weird. Get in the black hole. But yeah, let's go ahead. Let's take on Plantera now. And oh, that's not Plantera. You know what? Both of you at the same time. Fine. Fuck it, both of you. Just both of you at the same time. You know, I'm really interested to see the uh, Golem buffs in 1.4. Because they did say that they buffed Golem. Because Golem is definitely a weaker uh, hard mode boss, in my opinion, in everyone's opinion, honestly. That dude's dead. What do I need to do now? I need to do all the event bosses, and then we need cultists and pillars, and we should be good. L let's let's head to the surface. Let's do some uh, event bosses. All right, let's start with the Dark Mage. I'll do the highest health one. What's up? Get in the black hole of doom, and just like that, he is gone. Next up, we got the Ogre. I don't know. What's up with their sprites? Like, you see this? Why are their sprites so tiny on the cheat sheet? I don't know. But there you go. There's the Ogre. Ew, he just sneezed into his hand. Bro, come on. That's a bad time to be doing this. He doesn't know what's going on with the world. So, oh, and it's on me? God damn it. Next up, Betsy. Get in, get in the hole. Welcome to the hole. You know, maybe they're all getting sucked into somewhere and they're all just chilling in there. They're probably getting sucked into like a Roblox game right now. You know those Roblox games we've been playing where like all the models are like next to each other? That's probably where they're getting sucked into. All right, next up, we got the uh, Flying Dutchman. Okay, it's not there. Dutch. There we go. There it is. Boom. Oh my God. That boy, that boy went into the hole and you know what noise he made? If he were to actually make a noise when he got sucked in that hole, it would have been like this. That would have been the noise. I don't know what that sounded like on the mic. Just know that it tickled my throat. All right, next up, the saucer. Let me see if I can get him in the middle. Oh, his like cannons are still there. You see that? What the heck? All right, and now on to the summoner. No, now on to the Christmas and Halloween event. But first, you know, I always get comments about two certain quote unquote bosses. These dudes aren't bosses. They're mini bosses, if anything. And that is the goblin summoner. Because you see the smaller health bar, that means they're a mini boss. But we can't even use that. We can't even use that smaller health bar as like a consistent thing. Because I think some of the other bosses have them. But if you go on the Terry Wiki, all bosses are listed there the flying dutchman is one martian saucer turkor lepus ever scream all of those are bosses the goblin summoner and the dungeon guardian they're both not on there so that's where all the people tell me you know, that they're bosses they, they just aren't on there and i'm using the wiki all right let's see him in action ever scream boom i'm gonna make you scream haha <laughs> that's a good one right get in the hole get in the middle i want them to get in the middle so it's a little bit faster i still don't know if it's fast or not I, it has to be but look he's right in the middle but he's not getting insta killed maybe he just has better defense i don't know sand tank you know the this event the christmas event and the halloween i was really hyped when those came out because they were just it's such a fun idea such a cool idea and the fact that they are they're permanent right you could take them on any time in game yeah i think you can and uh vanilla Terry, i'm actually not sure about that because i haven't played vanilla Terry in a minute but i always like the addition of these i hope they do more in the future well actually so i don't know if they can do anything in the future at this point but uh, let's go ahead let's take on the ice cream here bye bye and then let's take on the last two the pump king and the morning wood come here 
Oh, we got him before he left. That's fucking right. Get the hell out of here. He was trying to leave. And the morning wood, which like every video with the morning wood in it, you know, I always have someone explaining the morning wood joke. Instead of like somebody replying to someone else about the morning wood joke, they just leave it as a comment. So I'm assuming it's directed towards me. I, I get what it means. That's the whole point why it's named the morning wood. But yeah, there you go. Now we just got to take on the cultists and the pillars and moon lord. These boys are about to get sucked in. Get in here. The Where'd the tablet go? The tablet's gone too. Is he gonna spawn in? I killed the tablet. Uh oh, it's all good. Just uh, summoning the cultist straight up. Which one? This one? I think this one turns in to this one. So this one. Oh, okay, now he turns into it either way. <laughs> he was not ready. Hey, we got the tablet back. We got the tablet back. We can't place it here, but we can place it there. Perfect. It's like it never moved. All right, let's take on the pillars. I'm kind of interested to see how we're gonna toss the pillars around. Now, that's my favorite thing about these juice mod cheat weapons is how you can kind of just move and toss everything around. We got these crazy titan-like giant bosses here to kill and destroy us. And then I go like this, and it's like, hi, hi, hee. Let's go ahead, let's suck it into the black hole. Oh my god. It's kind of we're kind of just seeing what can get sucked into the black hole and what can't. And I don't think I've seen anything resist the suckage yet. I think the other cool thing about this black hole weapon is how it sucks in items too into the middle i kind of wish that terraria boomerangs you know the ones that are just in vanilla terraria i kind of wish they had like a zelda type feature to it where you throw a boomerang at an item and it picks it up that'd be that'd be pretty cool there you go and then suck in the items you know bring them all to me and we got the stardust pillar here you know i might as well move to the right while killing it so i can multitask two things make my way to the next one and kill this one at the same time see you later get out of here I feel like when they get to like a lower amount of health, they kind of get a little bit of resistance. Like it kind of takes a while to kill them when they get low. And here we are, the last pillar somewhere over here. I don't know the effects. Oh, there it is. Yeah, we're going to leave the world after we kill this pillar because it's way faster for me to leave the world and spawn in Moon Lord with the, uh, the tablet from Fargo's mod than it is to sit here and wait for Moon Lord to spawn. So let me get let me get the the tablet it's called a tablet right tablet no oh shit that's the wrong item i'm thinking about oh it's a sigil ah there you go sigil this one summons the moon lord instantly like look how long is it taking bro all right it is moon lord time the game crashed during the time i tried to leave the world very interesting but here we go we got okay on to the next one so i believe in the previous video of this series we tried to test it on certain thorium bosses and we're gonna do the same thing again so the star scouter that's one of them we tested that on and then it was abyssion was the other so let's go ahead let's suck these boys in no homo again and uh let's see what happens okay his ufos the small ones seem stronger than him or it i was about to go to the ocean but i remember that abyssion does rage if you're outside of the ocean so like you know the stronger the better the stronger the better okay he's still resisting i don't think any, uh, well, no, i wouldn't say resisting he's still dying is what i should say i don't think anything resists but look when they, i feel like when their health does get low maybe this is another percentage weapon and that's why it takes a long time to kill things when they get lower in health but yeah last but not least after that we gotta pop the doomsayer coin at night time of course to fight ragnarok now this should be chaotic we're about to have a whole like pot of stew we're stirring in. boss stew we just got them deep in here yeah look how long it's taking for the the small amount of health that they have boom we got aqua 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 what the fuck is his name aquius aquius the waning tide yeah those are words that i don't use often waning the man right there. and then we got dying reality our screen is very distorted color wise but the dying reality is about to die and that is the reality of the situation see you later get out of here my favorite thing about killing the uh, thorium boss is how you get a crown above your head a nice little touch you guys you guys already know what time it is you know what time it is it's time for the calamity bosses come on in here come on in here i'm cooking up a stew and you are welcome to get in the pot look at this oh my god he said don't get cocky kid shut the fuck up stupid calamity bosses all right go ahead phase two Phase two, bring it. I already got the whole spinning. Oh my God. My boy said, dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. This dude's spinning like a yo-yo. And bye-bye. Jesus. Imagine one of the most fearsome bosses in Calamity being turned into a fucking yo-yo. <laughs> we are here, the jungle, to fight not only the jungle dragon. Can we kill it? Oh my God. Why is that always so loud when I fight this boss? I don't get it. 
it supposed to be that loud? Is there a lower reason for that? I don't know. All I do know is that my boy here is getting mixed up. Oh my god, he actually did die. I did not think he was gonna die. I think we might have found another weapon to rule them all. And of course, it's another juice mod weapon. Who would have thought? I think juice be making these weapons specifically to kill calamity bosses. All right, next up, we got Supreme Cal. I should probably use the uh, spawner itself rather than, you know, trying to spawn it in with cheat sheet. There you go. And boom. Hello, Supreme Cal and her friends. The worm and the dirty bubble. Can't wait to meet them. You think I could kill the worm this time? I don't know. It's a possibility. I don't think we've ever killed this sepulchre before. Um, but you know, it, it could be a new day. Wait, hold up. We gotta break the. We gotta break these things. Okay. Oh, look. There's the sepulchre. Oh my God. We might actually kill the sepulchre for once. Is that how you say his name? Sepulchre? Sepulchre? Who the fuck cares? Oh, go to hell. Well, that's where you went because I'm still alive. <laughs> I don't know if that counts as a kill or what. It probably not. It probably thinks we cheated. And you know how the Calamity devs are. They get a little antsy and they put go to hell. How inspiring. All right, we are back here at the not PP colored ocean because Calamity's anti-fun. We know this already. And let's fight the old Duke for real this time, okay? Not on accident. I just kind of want to see him. Look how cool he looks. You know, a lot of people call him Boomer Duke, but uh... I, I just I, I like old Duke for obvious reasons, but look at him. He's got a little beard. Hold the stand still, stand still. He's got a little beard, a uh, little, little little eyebrows. Okay, I can't even say little. His eyebrows are going down half his body. But yeah, let's go ahead. Let's suck him in. See what happens here. Probably the same outcome of what happened earlier. When he gets to half health, though, he does have a little phase he does here, but we can't kill him. Oh, and now he's dead. All right. You do know who we have to try next, though. Another tank from Calamity, the Eidolon Worm, of course. Let's see it. Let's see it. Can we kill the Eidolon Worm? Oh my god. The first Eidolon Worm kill in forever? Oh my god. It's about to happen. Oh my god. It happened. It happened. We finally killed the Eidolon Worm for the first time ever or the first time in forever. Because I don't remember the last time we killed it or even if we killed it at all. But look at these weapons that you get from killing it. Sword that shoots projectiles. How original. And this thing. Nice. Loud weapons. All right. So after those bosses, um, I do want to test out more bosses because we're, we're pretty much done. We tested all the bosses we wanted to test here. The ones that I thought would resist the most. And now it's time to test some crazier things here. Let's test my boy, Bill Cypher. Oh my God. My boy, Bill Cypher. Welcome to the hole. Welcome to the hole, Bill. Welcome to the hole, Bill. Is he still? Where is he? Oh my God. He's still here. Oh, we killed him. All right, see you later, Bill. You know, one thing I always wondered in life, a great mystery to me I've always wondered in life, is how Bill is short for William. All right, and one final boss to end this video off. Oh, we haven't done the juice mod bosses. All right, let's do that real quick. I don't think they're going to stand much of a chance because this is a juiced weapon. So why wouldn't the juice mod bosses die? There you go. There's the jumbo cactus man. And let us see the alpha cactus worm. Obviously going to die. It's my favorite to kill the worms. I like how they spin around. Oh, you too. You get in here too. Oh man, half of it already gone? This boy lost half his body in seconds. All right, next up, Gilgamesh and Enkidu. Uh, boom, boom. Got both of them here. Welcome to the spin cycle. This is like doing laundry. You ever watch your like clothes spin around? Uh, I think that killed his second mode. Or did I spawn him in the second mode? I might have spawned him in the second mode, to be honest. But, uh, oh, there you go. Now we get to see the second mode. He's got two health bars? Apparently he has two health bars. And there's one more I'm forgetting. It's this one. Boom. SAX. Welcome. I'm kind of interested to see how it transforms when it's in the circle. It literally just does it while it's in the circle. Oh, it can't transform. Oh, it did transform. What the heck? I didn't see the animation playing. Or maybe it was playing. I really just couldn't tell. No, I think it is playing. No, it's not. It, they just transform whether or not the animation actually like plays through or not. But there you go. SAX dead to welcome to the black hole you know you get to chill with everyone else in the black hole yeah one more boss one more boss the final boss before i end off the video and that is the ugandan knuckles i have to if i fought bill cypher i have to fight the ugandan knuckles and this dude looks like hell bullet hell 
but there you go he is dead but yeah that was the black hole tome from the juice mod a very very strong weapon it didn't have a problem killing anything we fought bill cypher we fought the ugandan knuckles we even killed the eidolon worm that's insane because that may or may not be the first kill i legit don't remember we've ever done so many videos in this series that i just for forgot if we've ever killed it before but yeah thank you everyone for watching something about washing your hands go do it right now just for fun